right, all right, uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory uh, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, All right, we want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwell. And we want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim, you know, that's pushing his word and our truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and our brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, we say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and we say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe. And all meekness and humbleness, you know, uh, we say chalawam. Uh, we the brothers from GMS Miami Camp. I'm your brother Zakaria. Brother Samak. And our Lord will you know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash. You know, uh, Adawan Rathazah, you know what I mean? Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson, this sit down lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And our lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash, is going to be basically on going into, uh, going into Russia and how the Lord uh, set up Russia right, to ultimately awesome destroy this place with thermonuclear missiles. Russia and also all right, these other countries, all right, every country that has nuclear nuclear capability, they're gonna shoot their missiles over here. But this whole the destruction is gonna be spearheaded by, by the Russians, man. Uh because the Lord a prophesied that is it's according to the uh, biblical prophecy. All right, and the Lord had had it written down and now it's being played out right now. That's why you see Russia uh parading their military all right uh doing uh uh, uh tests with that missile because why it's prophesied that those missiles gonna hit over here. You no, know, so we just gonna roll through the spirit low when it's edifying to the light. You got it, brother. God, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me mm -hmm. and before thee of old right. prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Yeah, so that's what the ancient prophets they did. They prophesied against many countries. And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And America is, is a great country. Was well, was a great country. It still is. Everybody, you know, go after the ways of America. All right. And what the prophets, the ancient prophets, the Lord, he will always set them up before he brings out in the kingdom. And what the prophets are here now, you know, started with our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, prophesying that what war is coming to this place. Third, the can you get that bubble shot? The third world coming quickly. God. Because the World War Three is prophesied in the Bible. All right, that's why the Bible stands alone. Because no other book goes into all right, this third world's war prophesied. You got it right. God, this is the book of Revelation, chapter eleven, verse fourteen. The second woe is past, mm -hmm. and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Yeah, so World War One passed, World War Two passed, and what a third world's war. All right, it's coming quickly, man. What mm -hmm. Russia was part of that uh, World War II, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and what what the Germans they tried to go over there. Russia, Russia always had like power, you know, mm -hmm. different wars. You know, we was talking about uh, with no, that movie Napoleon. Mm -hmm. All right, when uh, Napoleon tried to go over there to, to Moscow and stuff like that, and their soldiers had died because of the winters. All right, mm -hmm. Russia always been like a war a country, man. Mm -hmm. All right, but, uh, I read read that again. He said that, well, the first war passed, the second war passed, and what the third world war is coming quickly. It's going to be spearheaded. I right, by uh, what Russia, man. These other nations, man. Con, con, just to elaborate, you know, um, Russia, okay, has always uh, been part of these major wars mm -hmm. for the last uh, two hundred years, man. Which goes to show you, all goes according to biblical prophecy. Yep. The, the, the Lord made sure that Russia would be a superpower in these last days, right. all right, to destroy uh, Esau, Edom's kingdom, yep. which ultimately destroys them because yeah. they're Edomites too, yeah, no, all right? Yeah, Rodney said the Lord is against uh, Russia also because yeah, it says yeah. it. The Lord Ezekiel, is using you. Exactly, you know Ezekiel 38. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, like, and then when you see after, like, because you, you mentioned um, World War II, uh, after, you know, World War Two, and that started the Russia and America to be against each other, and every war that stemmed off after that was Russia was backing, okay, uh, various nations. Like for example, the Korean War, the Russians were backing uh, North Korea, all right, to go against America and the South Koreans. Uh, the Vietnam War, the Russians were backing the North Koreans, okay. So Russia has always been against America after World War II, mm -hmm. all right? Because it's, it's the will of the Lord to make sure that they fight against each other when it comes to thermonuclear war, as the brother said, mm -hmm. all right? So um, do you want to go to another scripture? You got oh, some? Uh, no, nah, that was it. You can go to Isaiah God. in the uh, NLT. God. So we're going to go to Isaiah, all right, in the NLT version, Isaiah 13. You want me to start at 17? Yeah, Baba Kushat. Okay. Going to 
what it says, how the Lord's going to stir up uh, Russia against uh, America, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we did different uh, translations. You know, see the apostles and the elders go into it. Mm -hmm. You know, it just makes it like a little more clear. But we know the King James Version is the most accurate. You know? Yep. So let me, let me change this over to NLT Version so we get a, a better... There we go. So this is the, um, yeah. Okay, so now, let me just clear this out. Let's play how I just clear this out. You know, and this, this prophecy is going to happen in our lifetime. But we know before this happened, like the apostle always said, the MOTB has to be made mandatory, the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. All right, and those who take it going to be in that fire. All right, because this place never going to be inhabited. The Lord's going to destroy this place. All right, and, it, and it's going to be a, a smoke going to go up for a long time, man. And the Lord's going to deliver the elect out of here, this place and from the lands that he was scattered, that the lands that the elect is scattered. Because this is what the great deliverance is going to be, man. You mm -hmm. got it, brother. So it says in um, in Isaiah chapter 13, verse 17, in the NLT version, it says, Look, I will stir up the Medes against Babylon. And the modern day Medes are the Russians because they live in that, they dwell in that landmass of the ancient Medes, man. Yep. All right, the sons of Japhet. Yep. All right, you go to look at an ancient uh, map, you know, going to um, uh, Gog or Magog, you know, going to uh, that Turkey area over mm -hmm. here. All right, that's all. That was uh, the sons of Japheth, man. Yep. The, the uh, Yeah, the, the sons of Japheth because Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Japheth was living up there in those areas. Mm -hmm. all right, yep. And, and if you pull up an old um, USSR map, you would clearly see that Russia had territory all the way um, from uh, Ukraine, they had uh, territory throughout Ukraine. Um, what, what was it? Estonia, okay, uh, uh, to um, Armenia, mm -hmm. Azerbaijan, Turkmenia, Kazakhstan, all the way to the far, to the Far East. So like Georgia, Russia, Georgia, Russia. Yep. So um, this goes to show you that the 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 Russians. Okay, are in the scriptures, man, and the Lord, okay, has them set up, okay, for a particular purpose, and they are known as the modern day Medes. Just from an ain't when you look at a, a, a USSR map, okay, mm -hmm. in itself, all right. Uh, so let's go back to Isaiah chapter 13, verse 17 again, con. Look, I will stir up the Medes against Babylon. And what is Babylon? Babylon is America, man, Babylon the Great. All right, which goes back to the word of Babal, the Hebrew word Babal, meaning confusion, because America is full of confusion, man. And the Lord said He's gonna stir uh, the Russians against uh, America, Babylon the Great. You got mm -hmm. brother. They cannot be tempted by silver or bribed with gold. Yeah, because you can't pay them off because why? They got the bricks, whole brick system. Mm -hmm. All right, they getting away, they ditching away from the dollar because the Lord is have that spirit on uh, Vladimir Putin, man. All right, to get away from it. They're not going to accept nothing. They're just going to, the Lord, can you get that Proverbs 21? The Lord's just going to have it in his mind all right, to, to destroy this place. That's right. So um, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Yeah, so the Lord controls these kings, man. And he's, do, he's doing his will because this war is going to be uh, orchestrated by Yahweh Bashim The Lord should say he must he must the host of the battle, man. All right, so the Lord's going to use this devil. Mm -hmm. You got it, brother. I also want to add to, you know, where it says that they, they cannot be tempted by silver, bribe with gold. Um, if you watch the Putin interview uh -huh. with um, Tucker Carlson, I mean, Putin spent 30 minutes talking about, okay, his country, the history of his country from the from the 800s all the way up to the present, okay? So that goes to show you that he loves his country, He okay? He's a nationalist, and you can't just bribe him, all right, America, with, with, with large amounts of fiat currency. Yeah. And he even said in the interview, okay, that America's... Uh, by them weaponizing the dollar, they're destroying the value of the dollar, destroying their 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 dominance because people are running away from it. These countries are running away from it. They don't want to use the American dollar because they see how it's being weaponized. Yep. So he, he said, "You Americans, you shot your own uh, self in the foot. All right, you're destroying yourself." Okay, but I just want to bring that out that the uh, Vladimir Putin, okay, and his uh, council, his leadership are nationalists. All right, they love their country, and you can't bribe them. That's right. All right, the Lord, but the again, as Proverbs chapter twenty-one, verse one, the Lord put that spirit in them. 
all right, to be like that. Yep. Okay? Yep. Um, back to Isaiah chapter 13, verse 18. The attacking armies will shoot down the young men with arrows. Yeah, the modern day, uh, the modern day arrows are those missiles, man. All right? Because the scripture, uh, Isaiah was, they call them bows and, air, bows and arrows. That's what they, when he seen the vision, that's what he described them as, man. All right, because because you look at a missile right now, you look at a missile, it looks like a, a, a arrow, man. Mm -hmm. It goes the same uh, uh, trajectory, you know, the, the same uh, weight. That's how the Lord, that's how Isaiah described it. You know what yep. I mean? And um, the military, whenever they're uh, missing a, a nuclear missile, they call it Broken Arrow. Mm -hmm. um, a good movie to watch. It's a good movie to watch, a good action flick um, with uh, Christian Slater and John Travolta. It's called, the movie's called Broken Arrow. Yep. Okay. And it's describing a nu nuclear missiles that went missing. The military has that term, right? The U.S. military. Yep. So this is what it's talking about. And again, you're not going to see nuclear missile in the Bible. Those words weren't, okay, created back then, okay? Mm -hmm. they were cre these are modern words. Right. All right, that's why you got to go into words, okay? And you got to, okay, uh, 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 filter it out, okay, with the prophecies, man. Mm -hmm. So you can understand what's going on. Okay, they got all these nuclear missiles. Okay, how does that coincide with prophecy, okay, and what the Bible is saying? Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. um, right here it says, in Isaiah chapter 13, verse 18, the attacking armies will shoot down the young men with arrows. They will have no mercy on helpless babies and will show no compassion for children. Yeah, because when those missiles hit, hey, it's not going to respect the person. They're just going to destroy the whole land. You know, I got precept for that arrow. Uh, you want to you say something? Um. It's another thing when you get that um, with the precept before you get that precept. Uh, this also goes to show you that this wasn't talking about um, what happened in ancient yeah, Babylon. Yeah. <laughs> all right, this is talking about what's coming. All right, arrows not sparing babies. Okay, not showing no mercy to babies, not showing any compassion to children. This is talking about nuclear weapons. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Because if you did any research, and this is to you wacky tacky plantation Christians. Okay, or, or you Jakes out there? Because really, we were here for our people, and you Jakes don't like to look up nothing. Yeah. You know, um, Darius the Mede is the one that took down. Was it Nebuchadnezzar? Okay, I believe the yeah. uh, 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 Belchazedar. Belchazedar, yeah. the water. Do I always get the I always get the, the names yeah. messed up? All right, uh, Belchazedar, which is the grandson mm -hmm. to Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. Okay, um, that was done by a surgical strike. Mm -hmm. Darius the Mede did it. Yep. Okay, and then it became. A uh, a city, or it became a um, vassal the, state. And a, and, yeah, it became a vassal state. Okay, it became a. Um, there's another word I want yeah. I want to use. Yeah, I know you always say because uh, um, Russia has uh, uh, a land that's between um, uh, Poland. It's called uh, Kaliningrad, mm. and it became a, a providence. providence. That's okay. the word. Yeah, uh, okay, a providence. It became a providence under the Persian and Medes, Babylon, okay? And then after that, it became a providence under the Greek Empire, Yeah. okay? So there was no babies and children being, okay, uh, destroyed by all these arrows, Yeah. okay? That didn't happen back then. This is obviously talking about a future prophecy, mm -hmm. okay? So, yeah, the, I just wanted to bring yeah, that. You got it. Yeah. yeah. I was going to bring this out because the arrows, this is the book of Second Ezra chapter 16 because Ezra saw... The destruction too, man. A lot of prophets saw it, and they said they was saying the same vision, but with with different um, mm -hmm. uh, different ways, you know. But it's the same prophecy, man. Babylon the Great being destroyed, and the salvation of, of the elect of Israel. Mm -hmm. This is a second Ezra chapter sixteen, in verse thirteen it says, "For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow; his arrows that he shooteth are sharp." All right, talk about those missiles, and shall not miss. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, so mm -hmm. those missiles they can be shot, I right, from from one end of the earth to the uh, I mean from one continent to another, man, from one end of the earth to another, man. That's what we call intercontinental ballistic missiles. Mm -hmm. Apostle Tahar was going into that. I think it's like five thousand miles from from Russia to like uh, uh, America, but they, I think Satan two or Satan one and Satan two, it goes like five thousand five hundred. Yep. So it's gonna it can touch it can touch this land, man. Mm -hmm. and, it, it, and I think that they said that has like a ten nuclear warheads. It's probably more than that, man. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because hey, those 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 tips of those um, nuclear warheads had okay. The nuclear warheads themselves are like can, can go from ten. 
to 30. I've seen one where it said uh, uh, 40. Damn. You know what I'm saying? In one missile. Yeah. You at think... the head, man. Right. In one missile. So just think about that. And then when you see um, the, uh, the engineering behind it, once that head capsule comes off, all these uh, warheads just come out. Yeah. Okay? Like, uh, uh, um, what's it called? Like, like uh, for lack of better words, like little, like little missiles, man. Yeah. You know, like, like if a, if a warplane shot off a whole mm. bunch of homing missiles like that. Yeah. But these are warheads, nuclear warheads. Mm -hmm. So yeah, all right, two hundred million. That is that is possible. And it and this is and and it's not just Russia. It's every country that the Lord has uh, uh, put the minds on their scientists to make a, a nuclear uh, weapon. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. But um. Uh, yeah, that was it. Because it's gonna go from one in the the earth into another, mm -hmm. man. That's not that's not talking about uh, actual arrows. That's talking mm -hmm. about missiles, man. That's what uh, Ezra was describing the same thing. Mm -hmm. You got it, brother. Come. So back to Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse nineteen. Again, this is an NLT version. Uh, Babylon, the most glorious of kingdoms, the flower of the Chaldean pride, will be devastated like Sodom and Gomorrah when God destroyed them. Yeah. So this place. All right, it was a glorious kingdom, but it's going to be destroyed just how ancient Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. And Sodom and Gomorrah was an example of how, of how not to live. But what does America mm, that's, push? That's, and what is and what are they pushing even more? I, I That LGBT lifestyle, man. Right. And it's getting worse, man. It's getting little worse. Little kids, all right, little babies, the parents telling their babies that, telling people that their baby identified, and the baby can't even talk yet, man. Yep. This place is, is going to get overthrown by that nuclear fire, man. Right. I mean, it's it's... Even um, what's it called? Uh, you even had uh, Ryan Garcia, okay, oh, yeah, saying about, about the whole Bohemian Grove, how they saw, you know, he saw uh, uh, the elites raping and sacrificing children. Okay, this is what's go this is how you know this place is gonna get lit up by fire, man, yep. because it moves like Sodom and Gomorrah. Yep, that's, All right, that spirit, and you see it's getting revealed more and more. Your, your rappers, your politicians. Which they all bug out, but they all everybody into that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brother. Con, uh, second, uh, Peter, uh, chapter two, verse six, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after shall live ungodly. Yeah, so it was an example. The Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah in uh, three more cities. I think it was five cities total. Mm -hmm. The neighboring and, cities, yeah. The neighboring cities. And the Lord saved, what, Lot and his two daughters. Mm -hmm. And his, his wife looked back and when she became a pillar of salt to this day. Yep. You know? To this day! <laughs> to this day. <laughs> I, <do> that. <laughs> the, I think what Solomon Solomon says is a memorial, man. Yep. I, uh, of wicked people, you know, she was. She looked back at that wicked place. She got destroyed. This, but the point is, a hey, the Lord rained fire, fire and brimstone. But the Lord, He has the, those scientists, the the split those atoms, you know, Oppenheimer and, and different scientists to to put uh, uh, that technology and missile to bring forth that fire. You got mm -hmm. Come on, and the Russians are going to spearhead it. Yep. I want to do one more uh, precept. Uh, Jude, uh, chap. Uh, it's only one chapter, but verse seven. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, mm -hmm. that LGBTQT weirdo activity, yeah. all right, pedo activity, okay, uh, uh, Nambla activity, yeah. okay, North American Boy Lovers, Boy Lovers Association, <laughs> they have that. It's a website. You yeah. can go on right now. Why don't you take that down? Yeah. You know? You know, that's why this place is, 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 is you know, America, you you Americans, man, you're hypocrites. Yep. Anyway, um, and set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Mm -hmm. See that? Yeah, that? That fire, man. Mm hmm All right. Which, that smoke, that, that fire went up for a long time, man. Mm hmm It's because, it's, cause you know, it's not eternal like a hell because yeah. <laughs> cause it would have still been burning. Exactly. You know I mean? <laughs> Come on, man. It's, sim like, it's symbolic. Said. It exactly. <laughs> I mean, hey, man, you know, some of you Israelite camps out there, man, it's time for you to grow up, all right, and take, all right, this truth seriously, all right? right? The things that you're saying don't make any sense, man, right. all right? You be, you, you're not, you're just listening, to, uh, right, all right, to, um, you know, this, this supposed uh, leader, all right, and, you know, he's captivating you with $100 words, and you think he, you know, the Lord's dealing with him, and he's not, man. He's not. You know?
And that's when you better repent, man. Okay, because the clock is ticking, man. Something main's about to happen this year. I feel it, man. Yeah, I feel it, man. I think he's got, it, you know, that, and it's gonna it's gonna move these nations into war. Russia's gonna do some heavy damage onto uh, onto America, man. Real talk, man. Because yeah. it's gonna go. It's gonna be a, this before it goes nuclear. There, you're gonna see Russian soldiers bang on, on American soldiers. Yeah. All right, and, and you, that's when people are gonna see. American soldiers getting the ass beat, man. Right. And, and and you're gonna see it, man. Right. You already see fucking Russia dominating Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> so uh-huh. what are you American military, so y'all doing TikToks and shit. Yeah, gotta... TikToks and, and talking about <laughs> okay, uh, dressing up as a, as another gender if you have to get drafted. You see memes like that. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a draft coming, I'm I'm gonna ch- I'm gonna change my my gender and and that's what he's like. What the fuck? Because they scared, bro. They're born to fight. They don't want to fight. Um. I saw that on on Twitter. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, he's new. Yeah, they used uh uh that uh that fucking weirdo, that Borat weirdo. They used that one of his movies. Borat. Borat. Yeah, yeah but it wasn't Borat. It was some other. It was some weird other movie. Some that he he uh he plays a, a LGBTQT personnel, and then he goes into the military, and so yeah, and he and he started he got all effeminate, and yeah. you know, it was just weird shit. Anyway, well, yeah, it was weird shit. <laughs> yeah. But it said. This is what I'm gonna. It said at the top. This oh, is what I'm gonna mimic, do. They're mimicking. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. To to uh uh when a draft comes. That's what it said. Yeah. Some weird shit. I was like, yo, this place is through. Um, Isaiah chapter thirteen verse twenty. Babylon will never be inhabited. That's a clue right there. Yeah, that's the clue. That's that's talking about a modern Babylon, man. That's not t- talking about ancient Babylon. Right. And modern Babylon. I mean, uh, where ancient Babylon was at is known as modern Iraq, right? Mm-hmm. So. Um, is not Iraq inhabited right now? Yeah. So, and that's not the glory of kingdoms. Yeah. So, this is talking about America. Right. Nomads will refuse to camp there, and shepherds will not bed their, down their sheep. Oh, read, read it again? Uh, yeah. So, oh, it will remain empty for generation after generation. That's a, yeah. Because gener- that's more and more for a long time, man. And it's going to go into what's going to be dwelling here. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Nomads will refuse to camp there. And shepherds will not bed down their sheep. 21. Desert animals will move into the ruined city. Yep. And their houses will be haunted by howling creatures. Yeah, so what's what's going to be here is what? Desert creatures, man. Mm-hmm. Right, this place is going to be, the, the White House is going to be destroyed. All the, Basically, this whole land is going to be a, a, a desert. And, right, and when the smoke clears, that's when those desert creatures are going to crawl in this place, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh. <clears throat> We'll continue on, but then we'll jump to Revelation 18 as well. Um, Owls will live among the ruins, and wild goats will go there to dance. 22. Hyenas will howl in its fortresses, and jackals will make dens in its luxury palaces. Babylon's days are numbered. Its time of destruction will soon arrive. Yeah, so the Lord prophesied that hey, this place is about to soon be destroyed man those desert creatures gonna, gonna be in that land man mm-hmm. all right and the lord's gonna deliver the elect all right, with a great deliverance that's why we telling our people to wake wake up because nuclear fire coming to this place it's, it's prophesied you can't stop it right. Ooh, check this out revelation 18 and 2 in the lot version he gave a mighty shout right this is the angel okay babylon has fallen that great city has fallen she has become a home for demons <laughs> yeah. And they that's what they have a term called demon time. This is hey, this is America, bro. She's a hideout for every foul spirit, a hideout for every foul vulture and every foul and dreadful animal. Right. Those desert creatures. Yeah, like the okay. Little dragons and yep. shit. Exactly, man. Yeah, this place gonna be Yeah. <laughs> She's become a home for demons. Yo, this mad demon. That's why the Lord's gonna light this place up. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, but again, Babylon. Uh, when it says Babylon has fallen, it, the the great city has fallen. John saw the destruction already. Yep. You know, and and then what what came out of it? Desert creatures. Yep. Okay. So the meaning there's gonna be no um, body dwelling here. That's yeah. the point. There's gonna be yeah. nobody dwelling here. Yep. The Lord's about to destroy this place, man. Mm-hmm. Um, we can get a Ezekiel 38. Come on, you go. To, yeah, come, come on. I'll get it for you. I'll get it. I'll get, on, I'll get to Ezekiel 38. Let me just break it down. Yeah, because Lord, he's putting hooks back in, in yeah. uh, Russia jaws, man. Yep. I did to 
uh, come back to that USSR state, man. Mm-hmm. So often you come against Babylon. Yeah, brother. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog. Yeah, Gog, the land of Magog. He was talking about uh, Russia, man. Mm-hmm. The Lord said he, he's he basically he's against them, but he's using them all right, to uh, to fulfill his prophecy, man. To mm-hmm. fulfill his will. You got it, brother. Yep. The chief prince. Mm-hmm. I think chief prince goes into uh, Ra'ash uh, Shar. Yep. Ra'ash means like head mm-hmm. or chief, and Shar is prince. Yep. <laughs> Russia. Yeah, Russia. Russia, exactly. Ra'ash Shar, you know. Yep. Yeah, if you want it, and you all you gotta do is go into the the Hebrew word of it. Yeah, Pastor brought that out. Yep. Um, where is it at? Where is it at? Uh, the chief, there it is. The prince. Uh, Probably in the NLT. Be honest. Oh, I, oh, that's right. Yeah. See, see, you gotta go back to the KJV because see, they, the NLT took the chief out. They didn't put the chief in there. You see that? You notice that? Yeah. Hmm. Why would you? Why did they take that out? Cause a, cause then if you go into the Hebrew, you will know. Yeah, there it is. There it is, Ra'ash. There it is, Ra'ash, the chief, which clearly means, um, let's go, it means head. Yeah, the head. Yup, top, you know, chief, there you go. Chief, yeah. Yup, that's Russia, all right, Ra'ash, the head, and they're going to be the ones to spearhead yeah. this nuclear assault on America. It's prophecy. Yup, <laughs> it's prophecy. So Russia is kind of like a Hebrew name, a yeah. word, you know. And it's all spiritual. The Lord set it up perfectly. See, if you stay with the prophecies, you, you won't be bugged out. You won't yeah. be preaching bullshit. Yeah. Talking about there's a forever hell or, I mean, what's the, what's the, uh, uh, Edomites can be saved. Yeah. What's the, oh, now all the new topic, Anunnaki's oh, yeah, and fallen Anunnaki. angels yeah, yeah. and, you know, all this type of shit, yeah. bullshit, man. Because you want to know why? They don't want to stick to the prophecies because deep down inside, they don't want to leave this fucking place. They yeah. want to stay here in America yeah. and and t- preach their bullshit. Yeah. But guess what? Newsflash, the Lord's about to end this internet shit. Yeah. That's why I can't wait till the family works. We got to <laughs> see no more bullshit being stated from re- retards, man. Yeah. All right? Can't wait till the family the fam- the works. There's so much things going on about, about the family the world, yeah. This mo- the microchip. The, the nuclear war, okay, the civil unrest. Uh, uh, Alex Jones literally laid it out saying that they're going to cut the power. They got all these illegals coming in. Some of them are, 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 are have, they found military ID, mm. all right? There's about to be a coup, coup d'etat in this country. Yeah. That's the stuff you're supposed to be talking about because those are the prophecies. Right. No, we want, they want to talk about Anunnaki and you. fucking fallen angels having sex with uh, 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 women. All right, with these, and I just thought about some. Why would a fucking fall? Why would it? You know, it's bullshit. But why would an angel want to have sex with a, a with a woman that got her back ran through by like fifty different dudes? Yeah. Where like she got, she's got cum all over inside her. What the fuck would? Yeah, yeah. Why would an angel want to even consider on a, a Babylonian whore? Okay. Yeah, niggas is off, man. All right, angels are pure. Yeah. Okay. This is stupid. It, it anyway, we we not even entertain that. It's just fucking <laughs> stupid, man. Yeah, Jake just they yeah. like to learn ever 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 learning, never coming to yeah. the knowledge, you know. Fucking what we want to do with a with a fucking thought that's been ran through, man. Yeah. Anyway, uh back to Ezekiel chapter thirty eight, verse uh, two again, son of man, set thy face against God. But then you know why it, it's the it's a woman worship. Yeah, yeah, that's queen what it of is. heaven. That queen of heaven shit. All right, that's yeah. that. They always got to bring the woman. Got to get the woman involved all the time. Yeah, yeah, always. Yeah. All right, son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meches and Tubal, mm-hmm. and prophesy against him. Three and say, thus saith the Lord, God, behold, I'm against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meches and Tubal. Yep. Four and I will turn thee back. And put hooks into thy jaws. Yeah, so the Lord is a turning Russia back into that USSR, man. Mm-hmm. Where well, he's going to have, what, tur- Turkey along with him. He's going to have all these different allies. We're going to read it. Mm-hmm. And the Lord is going to, hey, make them a powerhouse. And what, they're going to shoot these missiles upon this place, man. Yeah. That's right. Uh, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thy army, horses and horsemen, all them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, 
All of them handling swords. Yeah, just talk about talking about their defense system, talking yeah. about their, their military power, man. They all gonna have that them weapons ready, man. Yeah. Like you going to war, you, you gearing up for war. Mm -hmm. All right, you got it, brother. Con. Uh, five, Persia, Ethiopia. Uh, Persia's the uh, the Iranians, man. Mm -hmm. The ancient Persia, they they know they the ancient uh, Iranians know that they from Persia, man. Yep. You got it, brother. Yep. yep, yep. Yeah, Iran knows their Persians. In fact, they'll put the right Persian language on their missiles. Mm. You know, for for them JJs who they about to <laughs> annihilate. Yeah, Russia gonna go against um, the land of uh, Israel too, man. Yep, yep, that's in you here. Know? Yep, yep. Uh, Ethiopia and Libya with them, mm -hmm. all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer. Yep. Okay, that's talking about Turkey, and all his bands, the House of Turgama of the North Quarters, and all his bands and many people with thee. Seven, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Yeah, be a guard unto them. Let's see what it says in LT version. Oh, I'm curious. I want to see what it no, says no, in LT yeah, version. Yeah, go ahead. You know, yeah, it's always, it's always good to learn, you know, um, new things. Ezekiel 30 and 7. Get ready, be prepared, keep all the armies around you mobilized, and take command of them. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. the spearheaded, head. Yeah. spearheaded, take command of them. Damn, that's dope. Hey, what's that scripture in uh, Joel? Yeah. The weak say I'm strong. The weak say I'm strong, yep. Uh, Get ready, be prepared, keep all armies around you mobilized. Yeah. And take command of them. Yep. That's what he's doing. This is, uh, uh, this is book of Joel chapter 3 in verse, Joel chapter 3 verse 9. It says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. So the Lord is preparing war for all right, all right, with these other nations, man. Mm -hmm. it says verse ten. It says with ultimately these, these nations, they all gonna be in the valley of Jehoshaphat. The Lord's gonna destroy their armies. That's the the, the end part. But the Lord are gonna use these nations also to destroy America, starting with Russia, man. It says verse ten. It says beat your plowshares into into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. And how do these little uh, 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 Ethiopia and Libya, those different countries like that, being strong? Because Russia's going to be a guard to them. They're going to give them those missiles, man. Mm -hmm. You got it, brother. Con. Hey, after many days thou shalt be visited. In the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and has gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel, which have been always waste, but it is brought forth out of nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. Nine, thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Yup, they're going to come as a storm. Right. Thou shalt be a cloud to cover the land, thou and all thy bands and many people with thee. Right, so hey man, this is going to be a full, Allies, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a full fun war, World War Three. Ten, thus saith the Lord God, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. Yep. That's when the Lord's gonna put the spirit on the, uh, these uh, Russian kings or a Russian president. If it's Vladimir, Lord willing, Vladimir Putin. I don't see him going nowhere. Yeah, All right, going, I don't see him going <laughs> but nowhere. an evil thought is what well, he's gonna push that button, man. Yep. You know. Uh, yeah, you can read verse eleven. Uh, eleven. Uh, and thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. As scripture say, this is a place that I dwell carelessly. That mm -hmm. says, you know, that they just dwell carelessly. Says no, basically nothing's gonna happen. Are there on all wall villages? Hey, that's spread because they letting people come in the borders. And yep, that's <laughs> right. That's right. That's <laughs> how you, you know. It's <laughs> talking about America. Yeah. You know, I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. Yeah, so the Lord said He's going to come up against them, man. Right. They're going to catch them unawares. Because you can see, look, like, uh, like these people in America are so powerful and careless. Like, literally, America is in a, in a proxy war with Russia. All right. A, a proxy war with a nuclear power, and these fucking Americans are just ah, we gotta party and bullshit. We gotta yeah. talk about the sports. Oh, what's the? I don't know what's the new thing now. Um, the new, NBA, NBA uh, now. LeBron James, yeah. 40, forty thousand points. You know, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the like draft, the, the draft coming up, NFL draft. Yeah. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, there's fucking literally a proxy war between America and Russia. Where I mean, there's even reports that. Russia's admitting that America is okay, and Ukraine are are shooting down their their planes. That uh, okay, that that because I did a lesson like it was two weeks ago that uh, 
Russia's accusing America and Ukraine for shooting down um, their uh, a plane that was carrying Ukrainian prisoners and killing their own Russian um, soldiers that were uh, flying the plane. All right, so there's a lot of things happening, okay? That's joint. That's gonna get Russia and America to go to war against each other, yep. and America is gonna is going to lose in this in that war. Yep. All right. Look, they didn't defeat. That's another thing. You fucking Americans don't have you forgotten the last twenty fucking years? You lost Iraq. You lost Afghanistan. Yep. Motherfuckers is falling out of C one thirty planes. <laughs> you guys are escaping. The Taliban was whooping that ass. Yeah. Did you forget? And the Taliban don't got nuclear missiles, so how much were the Russians, you idiots? Yeah. This is why we're telling our people, how the fuck do you believe that this country is going to, okay, sustain itself and be able to contend against Russia when it, it has been a failure, okay? Mm -hmm. has been a fucking failure in its military engagement right. for the last 20 fucking years. Right. Nobody wants to join this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you got a recruiting problem. Yeah. All right? You got fucking fags in there. Yeah. Let me keep it 100. You know, fuck if they yeah. take this video down. You got fags in the military, trannies in the military. Yeah. You're through. You're not going to be able to fight the Russians. The Russians are laughing, bro. Yeah. They're just fucking laughing. Then you got China. That, like, Russia and China. Are, and that's the thing. It's like, it's not just Russia. It's like China. It's Iran. Okay? It's various other countries. You go, yo, you, it's over. Fucking idiots. <laughs> anyway. Good. I, uh, I guess we're getting off on this. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah 51. Yeah. In verse, uh, I'll start at verse 11. Jeremiah 51 and verse 11, it says, Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, the Russians, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. So the Lord's going to take vengeance upon this place because what? The, the rape, murder, the robbery that this Edomite did to, to the Lord's people, man. So the Lord said he's going to raise them up hey, to take vengeance upon this place, man. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, uh, verse, no, that was it. Uh, no, verse uh, 12, it says, set up a standard upon the walls of Babylon, make the watch strong, set up the watchmen, prepare the ambush, for the Lord have both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. So the Lord, so hey, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. This place is about to be destroyed real soon, man. Mm -hmm. All right, but we know before the, the before those missiles hit, hey, that, that MOTB gotta be made mandatory, man. Yep. You know, so that was it, bro. Con con. So hey, low one, this less is edifying. Again, uh the Russians are gonna be used, all right, for the Lord's purpose, okay. All uh, right, so that um, America, all right, can be destroyed by nuclear fire. Yeah. All right, it's the Lord's will. All right, the Russians. That'll be the title. The Russians will be used, all right, to fulfill a major prophecy. Yeah. Okay, and the prophecy is is to the destruction of America via nuclear missiles, man. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And no one's gonna be inhabiting this place. There will be no more football games, yeah. basketball games. There will be no fucking okay concerts. There will be no Bohemian Grove. Right, 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 right. Okay? Mm -hmm. None of that shit. Yeah. It's over. When the Lord puts the spirit on the Russians right. to lob nukes, okay, and all these other nations are going to follow suit to follow the Russians. No more spring break. No more spring break <laughs> down here in fucking South Florida, Miami Beach, none of that shit. All right? No more shaking your ass on the car and falling off it like an idiot. All right? No more smoking weed and doing drugs, Jake, because you love yeah. that shit. <laughs> Fucking losers. Anyway. Yeah, so, he uh, anyway <laughs> so with that, I want to give all praise and all glory to Yahweh by Shim Yahushai by Shim Kakurash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. They are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. And salutation to the Akim out there pushing this truth to sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Risking their life for you. How about Shem Yahushai? Say, love you, brothers. Keep the door. Keep the faith. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Keep studying. Pray without ceasing. Pray for each other. Pray for the apostles and elders, so you can see we're almost out of here. That's right. Right. Tighten up. Lock in. That's it. To the few that are watching, keep studying. And when you pray, pray you cover Shalom. Shalom. You already know. So.